Hi, I'm Jeff Butler from Madison College. Today we're going to talk about the tools of the traditional cartoonist and comic artist. Um, as with most art, uh, there aren't necessarily the right or wrong tools. It's what you're comfortable with. And a lot of different artists tend to be comfortable with different types of tools or use different tools for different jobs. Um, a lot of times, in these, this day and age, uh, Inkers are very comfortable using markers. Uh, traditionally, markers weren't as good in the past, but now are, they're markers that do a lot of uh, great functions for our cartoonist. You can uh, make it act like a brush. You can draw straight lines. And uh, you can really make this uh, marker do some really wonderful things. Um, traditionally, uh, comic book in inkers and cartoonists have used pens that they dip into their ink. A pen like this, which is a Hunt 102, Crow quill, also known as a crow quill, very versatile, gives you an incredible uh, variation of lines, very flexible nib, uh, but they tend to wear out quickly, and hence they're not that expensive. Um, really great versatile uh, tool in the uh, inkers or cartoonist's toolbox. Another uh, typical drawing type of a nib, uh, similar to the crow quill, um, this type of a drawing nib can give you a uh, different range of flexibility. It can open up a lot of different um, opportunities for line variation and uh, another very versatile tool. Now, something that uh, isn't intuitive for most people, and that is inking or drawing with a watercolor brush. And I'll show you a couple. This is essentially the same one. One's a little bit more used. Uh, this is a Winsor Newton Series 7 number two watercolor brush. Now people say you draw with a brush, and I thought the same thing when I was first starting out. But these uh, brushes are incredibly versatile. Uh, and when you dip them in ink, you can draw and create incredible line variation and feathering and very elegant lines. They are very valuable. If you've never tried a brush, it's something that I encourage anybody that's interested in comic art and inking to give a shot. All right, so now that we have the right tools, we're ready to start inking.